get, um, you, you have a lot of people who have went through some things, and, um, of course, they are, some people get depressed around holiday season, especially around November, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, they get very depressed, um, a lot of people are killed during the holidays, so, folks, let me give you some motivation, and let me give you some insight, um, prayer is always the best way to go. Prayer is always the best way to go. Um, if you don't have any family members, find some friends that, that are true friends to you to hang around with, okay? Understand that you're not here by some happenstance, you know what I'm saying? God put you here for a reason. And I know that people go through things because I'm going to tell you something, um, years ago, you know, when I was a little girl, my father was shot and killed on the 21st, and that was in November, so, um, here I am today, 51 years old. I would love to have my father with me. And um, it, it is, but I, I don't go through a depressed stage anymore. And, and it really wasn't a depressed thing. It was more like sadness, you know, because um, of the way he was taken, you know, out of my life. Um, so we have to do things. You know, I got family. You, you have all, all kinds of reasons to be blessed and thankful for what you have. Oh, my gosh, I lost my father at the age of four. He was 33 years old, car accident. Oh, man. See, I, I lost my father. I, I was a little girl, and my father was um, shot and killed in his sleep by his second wife. She murdered him in his sleep. She waited uh, until he bled out. And uh, then she called a sheriff because uh, I was in North Carolina at the time. So when I say sheriff, that's down south. And um, they originally were going to charge her with first degree murder. But uh, when it was all over and said and done with, they didn't charge her with that. They charged her um, with, third, with second degree manslaughter, which means no malice. Um, but I finally obtained his... Um, pathology report and when I in this autopsy report and in the autopsy report the um, pathologist specifically says that he was deliberately killed so what she did was when he was asleep now my dad's six five okay six five tall slim um very laid back guy um quiet funny man good man he was a good guy Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. He was a good guy. Um, I didn't even learn until 2012 that my father was a recording artist back in the, the 40s and 50s. I had no clue that my daddy was a recording artist. And one of my family members sent me a picture. I might repost that picture again on, on Facebook. But he sent me a picture of him... Um, um, at the radio station, they, because, you know, they required, required, you know, recorded live at the radio stations back in the day. And so he would go to lounges and juke joints and all kinds of stuff on Friday and Saturday night. But on Sundays, him and his, his crew were in the radio station in Waynesboro, North Carolina, recording gospel music. So my dad was saying gospel and doing this thing. Wow. I didn't know. But, um... The report actually said that he did that he was deliberately shot and killed. So she and, and it actually describes that how she put the gun, the barrel of the gun, to his back on his right side and pulled the trigger. So um, he blew out. She probably instantly when she put up that close to his body, it instantly killed him. So you know, um, just to learn that and to grow up that and not yes. I, and she's actually on Facebook. That's so crazy. Because she never served no time for it. Um, 1976, they were still giving people, putting people in the chair in North Carolina. I think she should have got the chair. But, so I go figure. But, um, she never served any time for it. She got a slap on the wrist, and I guess back then they called it black on black crime. So, oh well. But, um, it is hard when, you know, when holidays comes and, and you've lost someone dear to you that you feel as though um, you just can't go on. You can't survive. Um, yeah, God will take it. Yes, 
Yes, you you own the money on that one right there. You own the money right there on that one. That that's very true. God will take care of that. Um, you know, you you go through some things. Now, like I said, I miss my dad. <sighs> Something awesome. But what I've learned through the years is that you you got to think of a higher power. And I know that my dad has always watched over me. Because at one point in my in my mind, in my psyche, I always wondered, you know, is he proud of me? Um, if he was here today, what you know, what you know, would he, um, uh, you know, approve of what I'm doing? And um, 2012 was when I came in close with some of my father's family members on that side. And when I found out that he was a recording artist, uh, one of my cousins said, "This is why you do what you do." This is where you get it from. If you don't know why you are singing and dancing and been all this stuff in the, in the industry for all these years, this is where you get it from. It comes from your dad. And I had no clue, but it was such confirmation um, from me. So I know that my dad would be very proud of me. Oh, boy. I, I, I ain't going to go there because that will make me cry, so I can't go there. But I know that he would be very proud of me. So what I'm saying to people is that I know that you're going to go through some stuff, but God answer prayers. Get around some good people that love you. Love people back. Love yourself first because you can't love anybody unless you love yourself. You got to love yourself first and understand who you are first. That's first and foremost, because if you don't do that, then you can't move on to the next step. You, you can't do it. It's, it's hard to do. So you got to love yourself first. You got to find out who you are first. You got to. If you don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you. But you got to you got to do it. And you and, and I, I know there are days that people are in bed with the, with the curtains closed. They don't want to get up. They don't want to do anything. They just want to sit there. So. You can't be that way. You got to get up, move around. So what I'm saying to you all is, first of all, love yourself. Find out who you are first. When you start loving yourself and caring about yourself. You know, one of my friends, um, Candace Camille, she's a well wellologist. And she understands the definition of really taking care of your body, your spirit, your mind. And, oh, thank you for the hearts. I sure need those. <laughs> state right now so please share this broadcast and keep the hearts coming i appreciate y'all just don't know but i need to come on and, and talk about this because people sort of sweep it on the rug and then they talk about it later we need to talk about it now so if you got some family members that's been through some stuff go check them out go call them see how they're doing i don't care if you just sit with them for a couple of hours you have no clue what that hour Maybe that 15 minutes just might do to them or do to their, make them smile. You, you need to do that. Um, I'm telling you, folks, my friend Candace Camille, like I said, she's a wellologist, and she believes in the mind, body, and spirit. I do, too. And you got to take care of all three of them because if you don't take all care of those particular uh, uh, essentials in your, in your life, in your body, then trust me, you're not going to be able to be aligned with your soul, your spirit, your mind, your heart. You're not going to be able to be aligned up with it to do the things that you need to do. You want to be successful, then you got to be successful from in, the, from in here. You got to think success, okay? You got to think success. You got to think being well. All of us are not perfect. I'm going to tell you something. I, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect at all. But what I do do is I try to look at a very honest picture of who me, of who Cassie is. I have to. You need to do a self-checklist on you. I'm, I'm telling you. You need to do a self-checklist on you. And when you do that self-checklist on you, you're going to find out some things that you might not like, that you might need to tweak. But here's the thing. A lot of times when people do that, they don't, they, they don't fix it. That's where the problem comes. You got to fix it. You got to fix it. Once you fix it, then you can move on to the next level. That's bettering you. My, my girl says, make sure you drink your water. That's one of them doctor things. Make sure you drink that water. A lot of women, we get 
weight gain. Yes. When you do these things, yeah, you should be growing daily. Every day. Every day is something new. Ain't nothing the same way. Now, if something is the same way, then uh, we got a problem. <laughs> no, I'm not the, I'm not the problem and find out exactly what's going on if it's the same thing every day. But when you do these things for yourself, you are constantly growing. You're going to find some new things about you. Now, whether the new things you find about you are good or bad, if they bad, then you need, you need to handle that real quick, fast, and hurry. You need to be honest with yourself. You don't want somebody else coming to tell you something that you already know that ain't right about you. And you didn't bother to fix it. So you need to fix it yourself before somebody else said it. Because tr truly, people see your flaws. But what happened is people don't see why you got those flaws. So you're going to have some people on the outside and they're going to be chattering. Oh, you know what? She saw, saw, he this, he that. Uh-uh. They don't know, they don't know your situation. They don't know your story. Okay? You the only one that can walk your story and tell your story. So you need to fix what's in you. So, folks, I'm telling you, holidays is here. It makes people think uh, about the people they lost. Um, and not just people that has been killed or passed away or died. It, not even that. It's your relationships with other people. Do you have good relationships? Do you have good relationships with other people? Now don't get me wrong. There are 